Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to make a stand that will hold my planer on top with the shop vac and dust separator underneath. I am really looking forward to having this corner of my shop more organized. Right now I've got my miter saw on a stand and my DeWalt planer is on a plywood cabinet. I've got a 14 gallon shop vac and I've got this dust right dust separator with some sawhorses and a workmate workbench over here. So I've already tested out uh, the shop vac with the separator with the planer and they work great. So what I want to do is make this cart so I can put the shop vac and dust separator underneath the planer and free up some more floor space over here. I drew up this quick sketch in Microsoft Visio to get kind of an overall view of the dimensions of this stand. And you can see I'm going to have the vacuum and the separator underneath with the planer on this tabletop up here. I'm going to put it on casters as well. So I think I've got pretty much the overall dimensions of each piece that I need to cut. So let's take the miter saw outside and start cutting up some 2x4s. <laughs> Alright, I've got all the 2x4 pieces cut for the frame and now I'm going to assemble it. I'm just going to drill pilot holes with this countersink bit and drive in some 3 inch screws. I've got the frame together and I flipped it upside down so I can measure and cut a plywood bottom. This portable planer cart was really quick and easy to make and it does a good job at organizing this corner of the shop. It's going to be nice to always have my planer set up and ready to go whenever I need to plane some wood. Also if I need to plane some longer boards I can just roll it out so I have room and then roll it back. I hope this gives you one or two ideas on how you can build a cart for your planer with some dedicated shop vac and dust collection underneath. If you're new to my channel Please click that subscribe button for more woodworking videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.